Wow, I can't believe we're doing a real cattle drive. I know! Look at us! We're cowboys! Now, hold on. You fellas ain't cowboys yet. Not until you blaze your own trails. A buddy of mine in high school could blaze his own trail. Used to do it on the floor of the locker room, and we'd be like, ah! While I appreciate the anecdote, we like to keep our entendre singular out here on the prairie. Yes, sir. What I mean, fellas, is that to find your courage, you need to do the last leg of this journey on your own and drive these cattle back to camp. Awesome! Guys, I can't go to sleep without watching a Frasier rerun. Can one of you please tell me a Frasier? All right. Once upon a time, Frasier auditioned for a community play. No, not that one. one. One where he's with Niles. That's fair. Those are the best ones. Once upon a time, Fraser and Niles were invited to a dinner party and both brought the same wine. Look at that. Already asleep. Hmm. Guess everyone's sleeping. It's just me and you, Mr. Bear. <laughs> ba -ba -ba bear What are we gonna do? Oh, no! The bear's going after Quagmire! <laughs> I'm gonna run behind this tree and then the bear's gonna drag me out. Me, and very clearly not a dummy who he then tosses around. Ah, oh no, I'm being tossed around. Oh god, now we're all gonna be tossed around. Oh no, oh no, hell. Make him stop. Ah, this is the real me. My dummy's riding a horse. Giddy up. Yeah, little Nas X. I can't believe we haven't found a bear yet. I was sure he'd be lured in by my tax portfolio seminar. Uh-oh, I'm gonna get revenanted. Remember that movie we all said was amazing and then immediately forgot? Don't worry, Peter, we got this. Yeah! All right! And I lassoed his neck so he can masturbate. Now give me back my hat, you son of a bitch! Good job, fellas. You really showed me something. <gasps> Old Man West? The owner at a ranch? Peter, this isn't Scooby-Doo. You ever notice how most Scooby-Doo villains are small businessmen? Who doesn't like small businessmen? Odd choice by the creators. Sorry to put you boys through the paces, but I felt like you needed a little nudge to find your courage. Here, Peter, you earn this. Thanks, Mr. Mayor. I'm gonna wear this hat forever. <laughs>